What's up, everybody? It's uh, Space Mike here, and I'm sitting down with Abby Garrett. I cannot believe that you're here. So, <laughs> thank you so much for sitting down and uh, talking with me today. I Absolutely. I love your artwork, and I want to know how it is that you first got started in this. How did you get interested in this space? So, I uh, grew up in the shuttle era, loved watching shuttle launches, was always so moved by them. Didn't get to go see one in person, but I live in Waco, Texas, which is very near the SpaceX rocket testing facility. So so for years now, I have heard rocket engine tests just about every day. And it's like this low base rumble from 30 miles, 20 miles out. And a lot of people don't know what that noise is. And as SpaceX is growing in popularity and success, I felt it was necessary to sort of educate people on this is the noise you're hearing. So one day, um, whenever I was hearing a test, I for some reason thought in my head, Merlin, the other little engine that could, <laughs> which is super cheesy, but I went with it, sketched out some cartoons, and eventually came up with this character for my book, um, and it kind of goes through the different parts of a rocket, how rockets work, and gives the spacecraft components um, a personality and a story so that kids and adults can relate to this rocket science that is kind of our next door neighbor and uh, even broader than that. So that that's how I got into doing SpaceX art, but I've been a space fan for most of my life. Was there ever a part where like space stopped being like a big interest for you and it kind of became reignited with all of this SpaceX activity? I would say so. No, 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 no. Whenever I was a kid, um, big space fan, but I was very aware of the Columbia disaster because being in Texas, it sort of exploded over my house. So I remember stepping out to my backyard and I could see the streaks in the sky from the shuttle. And so that was very imprinted in my memory as space is a dangerous thing. And so any sort of idea I had about becoming an astronaut or entering that field, I that didn't totally squash it, but it just reinforced that like, oh, that's a super unrealistic thing. So I actually got really into music. I was very competitive uh, at clarinet and voice um, and did that as a on a semi-professional level in college for a while, but then um, I started doing psychology research, getting back into the sciences, and then that's when SpaceX uh, inhabited the old Beale Aerospace uh, facility near where I live, and hearing the rocket engines um, just got me super excited and interested again in the rest of history. So with anthropomorphizing the different mm -hmm. rockets and capsules and everything, what have been some of your favorite like missions or, or comics to draw, and what's the been response been like? Uh, so my comic book series right here, it, it's comic strips that I did. They're kind of sketchy and in pencil, and I would post them uh, before certain SpaceX launches that were of interest to me to sort of help people understand what the mission was about, because a lot of people don't understand, you know, well, why is the rocket launching? What's it doing up there? Is it sending humans? No. Uh, it, usually uh, science to the space station on the Dragon, or... Uh, commercial satellites and people were just having trouble understanding that so I made funny and informative and sometimes touching comic strips that several aerospace employees really resonated with uh, my favorite would probably be the one for the first reused rocket because and I think that's that's one that you yeah, like too yeah, I really like that one. because the rocket in the story which is in here and you can also find it at abbygarrett.com slash comics uh, there, there are some strips there that you can view for free um, but the rocket is doubting itself and listening to the haters online and in the media that are like oh yeah that's not economical this will never work <laughs> and um, the rocket's like in the hangar kind of doubting itself and then in pops in Elon to give it a pep talk um, Elon why did you make me different? <laughs> <laughs> exactly why do I have to why am I like this I'm not like the other rockets that go in the ocean <laughs> and um, but eventually you know that was successful as we we know and the rocket you know it, the story ended well <laughs> yeah. so but I would use this to try to create hype around certain launches and educate people yeah that's so great um, have there been any sort of like uh, um, unexpected responses that you've had to this yes um, mostly positive uh, a couple of positive things actually involved other companies 
Um, so there's a very prominent satellite company that has shown interest in what I do and a legacy rocket engine company. Uh, very notable rocket engines. That cannot be named for uh, certain reasons. Right, 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 right. Um, so some other companies have shown interest in what I do, and I've been branching out and doing art other than that inspired by SpaceX. So that's really cool. Um, but of course, with anything that's growing in popularity, which I'm thankful is the case with this, um, you will get some haters along the way that are like, oh, that's creepy. Like I've had people who think this looks creepy. <laughs> Whatever, but yeah, that's that's the thing though. You put you put yourself out there, mm -hmm. and there's gonna be people that love what you do and people that hate what you do, and you just you know always take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. I feel like I, what I've seen from this so far has been that the response has been really awesome. I personally really like your artwork. Thank I really you. enjoy your comics. I'm looking forward to what you're gonna be doing next and things that you might be coming out with. So I appreciate that. Yeah, I yeah I I really hope that you're able to continue and do a lot. Of a lot more stuff. Thank you. And if you guys are interested in what Abby's doing, of course, check out all the links below, down below. You can check out all her comic strips and find out some new stuff. And if you want to purchase some of these really awesome pieces of artwork, you can do so through all of that. I uh, got a poster uh, yesterday from Abby that uh, definitely is going up on the walls. So, yeah, I. Is there anything else that you would like to share or, or talk about before we go today? Something people would find interesting that even some of my very close followers aren't aware of is that I didn't just write this book um, to get people interested in space. Uh, it's not just because I'm a fan of space. I went through a really unfortunate time medically. I just, I have a degenerative, degenerative disease, just bad genetics basically. And my spine, the discs in my spine are degenerating gradually, even though I'm in my twenties and uh, I've had to have a few surgeries. And so my career kind of took a spin and I knew that I would kind of be unemployed and on my own for a while. And so I decided to throw myself entirely into something that was meaningful to me and that I thought was important. I was like, if I'm going to be, you know, bedridden or in a neck brace for a long time or whatever, I'm going to make it count as much as I can and not just be wasting time yeah. to me. So I actually finished, started and finished this book in a neck brace between multiple surgeries. Um, and so th this was something that I did in the quiet in a very dark place in my life. And it, served as a light, um, having that purpose and thinking of the kids and eventually talking at schools and um, having engineers who've read my stories and it actually motivates them and uh, helps them with burnout, I found. Um, that gave me a sense of meaning and purpose and something to focus on other than the difficult situation I was in. So um, it's really been sort of a, a Phoenix experience. and. Um, I'm really thankful for where it's leading, so. That's really inspiring. Thank um, you. I mean, that just goes to show, too, that, you know, even through difficulty, and even when we're on a personal level going mm -hmm. through struggling times, or even on a much larger level in, in humanity, that this type of stuff, space flight in general, or just whatever it is that, you know, inspires you or excites your passion, is mm -hmm. pull us out of, out of difficult yeah. times like that and get us through and bring us together. I'm mm -hmm. sure that this has introduced you to so many different people that you would yes. have otherwise had the chance to meet. Or It's incredible. This is my first Space Fest, and it, just coming across some of these people and making new friends and expanding my space family. I mean, I never thought I would have been here three years ago. I never thought I would be doing art professionally either. Like, it just... It just kind of happened during that hard time. It was something that I could still do. And uh, I tried to make it count. And I, I've just like been gushing on social media about how thankful I am to be here. So it, it's really surreal and awesome. So it, it really is. I mean, I, I even consider myself still just a regular guy. Yep. who Just, you know, started making videos. And yep. Now it's, an, it's a real thing. Uh -huh. and, and, you know, being able to meet some of my heroes, mm -hmm. being able to meet people that are like minded. I agree. And it just goes to show that, you know, whatever it is that you do, whatever mm -hmm. it is that you are interested in, space is for everyone. And there's yeah. something that you can do, some way that you can contribute, something that can be meaningful for you and that will have an impact on other people. Too. 100%. It's something that's meaningful to you that I find so awesome. And there's a lot of other people that do as 
else. So thank you. you know, that just that just is another example. Of thank you. Spaces for everyone. So it's very exactly. inspiring. Thank you, Abby. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Thank you. And definitely check out her stuff and links all, all below to, to all of that. And be sure to follow her on all the social media. So, all right. See you guys Thanks. later.